takut kalimat itu ikhlas bila kalimat yang diucapkan itu akan nampak dalam pembuktian satu misal anda ikhlas mengucapkan kalimat syahadat asyhadu an la ilaha illallah wa asyhadu anna muhammad rasulullah saya bersaksi tiada tuhan yang layak disembah kecuali Allah dan saya bersaksi dalam menyembah Allah itu mengikuti tuntunan Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam ketika anda menyampaikan kalimat itu itu kalimat ibadah ibadah bagaimana ukuran benar kalimat itunya apakah hanya di lisan saja atau sampai ke hati maka biasanya semua kalimat ibadah akan ditunjukkan oleh Allah dalam bentuk pembuktian apakah benar tekadnya itu atau hanya sekedar kalimat di lisan saja apa pembuktiannya diturunkanlah kemudian amal soleh untuk menguji perhatikan baik-baik asyhadu an la ilaha illallah saya bersaksi tiada Tuhan yang layak disembah di ilah Allah itu bukan nama Tuhan saja tapi nama Tuhan yang harus disembah kecuali Allah bagaimana membuktikan kesungguhan kalimat itu maka Allah turunkan bentuk-bentuk ibadah amal soleh untuk menguji kebenaran dari kalimat itu jangankan anda level nabi dan rasul pun akan mendapatkan ujian serupa but once again what they are saying is true how because Quran is saying shahadallahu innahu annahu shahadallahu annahu la ilaha illahu Allah witnesses Allah the God himself Allah the Allah of Islam himself witness that there is no deity except him la ilaha illahu okay wa malaika and the angel wa wa ulul al so basically there's a big big problem in this verse because Allah is witnessing Allah is witnessing there is no deity except him and the malaika and the ulul ilm so in reality there's a big big issue in this verse how it is written because Allah is witnessing so now imagine imagine what is Allah witnessing please try to try to work with me over here okay just a little bit shahadallah annahu shahad means bear witness who bear witnessing allah is bear witnessing okay that allah is bear witnessing that what is he witnessing la ilaha illahu wa malaikati wa ulul ilm that there is no deity except him and the malaika and the people of knowledge now so basically three Allah the angels and the people of film they are all deities in reality this is what the verse is saying right and Chloe wakes knows Arabic she 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 knows what I'm saying but the Muslims comes up with a new translation what does they say they say Allah witness that there is no deity except him comma there is no comma over here illahu wa malaikata huwa wa malaikata wow means and huwa and malaikata but once again forget it let's let's give them the chance him and so do the angels so this so do is not in the arabic but they have to add that so that they could separate the allah with the angels so that they could separate the allah with the angels okay let's go with that for the sake of argument let's go with that and the angels and those of the knowledge maintaining creation in justice that there is no deity except him the exalted in might and wise now the arabic of allah was so daif so weak he didn't know how to write arabic he did not know how to write arabic that he had to say la ilaha illa huwa malaikati wa ulul ilm So let's just take the reinterpretation of what they are saying. Okay, let's take that. Allah witnesses that there is no deity except Him, and the angels also witnesses, and the knowledge people of the knowledge also witnesses, and there is no deity except Him, exalted and wise. Okay, now this is the shahada which Allah Himself is taking. Do you see? This is the shahada that Allah Himself is taking. So in this shahada. Did you guys see anything about Muhammad? Anything 
about Muhammad where Allah is taking the Shahada and saying Muhammad is also and I bear witness that Muhammad is also the prophet and the slave of Allah. 